my name is Maddie Huntley and I'm the new public relations intern and I'm here with Janelle talking about um, bariatric safe Super Bowl snacks and really just applies to anyone looking for bariatric snacks or just healthy snacks going into the big game. So to start off we have a couple examples that Janelle would love to show us of some quick treats that you guys can make. So by popular demand right here is our um, bell pepper nachos. So how do you do this? You are going to slice up your peppers um, and you might need to kind of um, break them apart a little bit if they're too um, close together. It's really hard to get in the meat. Um, I did saute some ground turkey here um, with some onion, some garlic, um, tomato sauce, and some chicken broth. And then I simmered that. Um, so what we're gonna do next is we're just gonna take a pepper here and we are gonna stuff that right here like this. And we always line our cookie sheets so we don't have to clean up the mess. Um, so I'm going to do a couple for you here and just show you how um, to stuff those. Just like that. Those look awesome. Yep. Uh, lots of protein in there. Uh, you got your vitamin A from your peppers, your vitamin C from the peppers. Um, so again, very low cal. Um, I have the recipe over here. Um, and seven of these is 187 calories um, and 18 grams of protein so uh, six grams of carbs um, so it's a great healthy um, li nice little appetizer for you for the Super Bowl so I'm gonna stick these in the oven and I'm gonna pull out the ones that I already made so here is what they look like um, I melted some cheese on top you can garnish it with whatever cheese you want I used a little Mexican cheese here you can also put some cilantro on top of it um, or some sour cream too as well so that's what it looks like when it comes out. Excellent. Those look amazing. Yes, thank you. So I'm gonna cook these ones as we talk. So I'm sure the staff upstairs is uh, waiting for these healthy treats. Uh, so up next is, um, we have right here, we have a white bean sun-dried tomato dip. So what I did is I put a clove of garlic in there um, and I put about four or five sun-dried tomatoes. I picked the ones in olive oil. Um, I found all these ingredients at Hy-Vee. Um, so what I did is I'm just gonna stick them in there along with the um, can of the white beans. And this dip is great, it's vegetarian, so all of you vegetarians out there that don't want any meat on the Super Bowl. Um, again, this dip is loaded with protein too as well and fiber. Um, one ounce is 23 calories and two grams of protein. I think you may have to sneak it around the other way there. <laughs> All right, I'm new to this food processor, and then I'm gonna uh, chop this up. In a couple seconds, and you have a great dip. You can serve this with, uh, right over here, I have some snap peas carrots, or you can even use some of those bell peppers if you uh, cut up a little too many. Janelle, we have a question. Were those beans drained and are the white beans drained? Yes, the white beans, I did drain them and I rinsed them too as well. So Awesome. Um, next is the buffalo chicken dip. So who doesn't love buffalo chicken dip, right? So I kind of came up with this recipe myself um, because every time I looked up or Googled a recipe, I found one with like Greek yogurt um, or light or fat free and I didn't want to use any fat free or light stuff. So I was like, how about taking that uh, container of hummus um, and trying that with the chicken so it came out really good I already tried it uh, but what I did is um, I did use rotisserie chicken but if you want to make your own chicken in the oven or in the crock pot um, obviously if you have more time I didn't have the time today so I just stopped at Hy-Vee and got a container of rotisserie chicken um, I did cut up some scallions in there um, use some feta cheese on top I used the buffalo wing sauce um, and I did use the roasted red pepper hummus. I threw that all in the food processor like you just saw and there's our dip. So I think another great option too that I didn't make today, um, you guys can do that chicken crust pizza that we made at one of the support groups if you guys are looking for a healthy alternative to uh, pizza. Uh, that recipe is um, on our web, our web page, um, our Facebook page too as well and we can post that as well. Um, another one if you're looking for a good appetizer is those zucchini fries we made too. Um, so lots of ideas guys. Um, 
um, for the Healthy Super Bowl treats. So anything else you want to add on to, Maddie? No, I think that was awesome, and I think um, it gives a lot of just tips for people looking for bariatric snacks and just healthy snacks in general. Um, is there a place we can find any more information on healthy bariatric eating um, habits? I like to use uh, Pinterest myself. I always type in bariatric eating or low carb um, ideas. Um, that gives us a lot of ideas for the support group when we make stuff or for events like this. Um, there are some cookbooks out there. They're, they're not very updated um, or creative kind of with what's going on trendy. I kind of like to use more trendy ideas or what's kind of floating around there. So we will post these recipes on our Facebook page for you guys all to try. Um, so thank you guys so much and have a healthy um, Super Bowl. Go Eagles or go Patriots, right? <laughs> awesome. Perfect. Thank you.